Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Rage, and we are back today to talk about a very important strategy that I do believe many players in the endgame should be utilizing, uh, especially now that we've had some significant, significant arena changes in terms of the payout, but more importantly, um, more sustainable power course has now given us a unique strategy here to unlock new characters in a timely manner and use those same characters to completely you know stay on top of the leaderboards and at the same time um, build on a reserve basically the rich getting richer um, but also it's an opportunity for us free to play folks like myself to stay competitive and continue to milk the resources that they have available so what am I referring to? Obviously, if you guys haven't seen it already, they've made a massive, massive overhaul in the arena store where they've expanded the power cores to not just beyond um, the five spots, but even if you're staying in the top 50 now, you're getting 400 power cores a day. That is gonna give you a lot in the span of a month and that's gonna add up here. And it creates a very sustainable strategy for us, especially being free to play, uh, to unlock newer characters right from the get-go, utilize them, build them up, and as well now being part of the team and you're basically getting an edge um, against the enemies the only ones i would say that are kind of the exception are any kind of teams that we're up against where they have a mephisto but otherwise um now that i've built up gladiator all the way to gear tier 18 and um and, and invested in the power course now i can stay afloat in the top 10 and continue to build upon my power course for the next character release in gore and then finally thanos endgame so it just keeps on continuing ladies and gentlemen absolutely unbelievable kind of value I also want to point out, it's the main reason I was able to unlock Black Panther Shuri as well as Hank Pym well before their events came. As you can see, you know, Hank Pym in the middle here of the four stars and then Black Panther Shuri uh, north of five stars. And this was, again, thanks to the power coring strategy that we utilize. And I'm going to share the, the math with you guys in a little bit here, but I just want to quickly talk about why it's sustainable and the fact that it's so important to, to use these resources. And this is why, in my honest opinion, Arena the arena game mode is probably the most important game mode it's the only way that you can get access to new characters in the week that they are released which is very very sizable and significant especially for those that aren't resource management um they're not using the resources strategically and saving for these events like the gold supply the the gear materials i brought in gladiator gear tier 18 the moment i unlocked him and now it's he's already paying dividends because i'm not even getting attacked in this top 10 and i'm just gonna sit comfortably now until other folks build them up Next week, it's going to be Gore, which means it's going to take out Old Man Logan out of this mix. And then finally, it's going to be Thanos Endgame. And then at that point, it's it's a free-for-all. It's going to be very interesting to see which teams are going to stay afloat after that full-on Annihilator team comes into the works here. But having said that, guys, let me walk you through the math here real quickly of how not only is this sustainable, but the fact that it's going to give us a, a nice opportunity here in the future now for future teams coming into the game. So in case you guys don't know, there's other ways that you can access kept power cores in the game beyond arena, right? If you go to the milestones here and you're hitting the golden opportunity milestone, there's actually 50 power cores coming per day when you actually hit 2.3 to 2.7 million gold. Um, you're, this is not showing on here, obviously, because I haven't been using campaign energy. I've been hoarding and hoarding. But if you go through the save the world milestone here, you can actually get about 35 um, per two days when you're actually spending about 1160. So that adds up there. Um, so that's going to be added up to the math later. And then finally, last but not least, if you're doing the daily objectives per day and you're doing it strategically here, um, you are getting about 50 cores a day. You put this all together, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, it adds up for the daily total, right? As you can see. And then finally, if you expand that to a month, assuming that you're in the top 50 ranking here as shown on screen, you're getting north of 15,000 power cores. That is very, very significant. And again, that's only the top 50. If you're in the top 10, even better, because you'll be getting a sizable bump up of, you know, an additional 3,000 power cores, 500 per day for 30 days. So, ladies and gentlemen, 15,000 power cores over the span of a month, and that's not including the balance that you already currently have. That is actually more than you have, more than you need to unlock characters. Typically, I think for myself, when I was doing this, um, I spent about 6,000 power cores. And my orb opening video was close to that. We had 6,000 power cores here utilized for Gladiator. And then finally, it was some of the uh, the other orbs that we've been getting from his arena event right here. So you pivot over to the rewards. They've added these, um, these fragments. And as far as we know, these are also coming for both Gore and Thanos Endgame. So that means there's just opportunities to get more shards of them going forward. But I would say on average, um, if you wanted to, you know, uh, really guesstimate how much power cores you need to unlock a character, I would have to guess around 7,000 to 8,000. 7,000 to 8,000 power cores 
for typically two to three characters per month not only is that sustainable but it's gonna set you apart from all the other folks that are spending especially now with, with everything that happened with captain um brexit at the end of the day most folks aren't wanting to spend right now well using power cores to unlock characters this is as close as you can get to get a definitive advantage against your uh, competitors and at the same time you can still be free to play ladies and gentlemen which is absolutely mind-blowing to me so i'm gonna keep doing this going forward i'm st i'm gonna keep you guys up to date but just remember gordon daniel's endgame they're they're right around the corner here real quick and with gore next week there's actually also a power core event for next week so make sure if you guys are going to save some power cores to open for gore Make sure you wait until that event goes live and then use the power core. So that way you're going to be double dipping in the event and also unlocking gore uh, potentially, right? And then obviously save a reserve for Thanos Endgame. But yeah, this is pretty awesome, guys. Ever since this massive revision in Arena, um, I would say right now, the only thing you should be spending power cores right now is in the Arena meta because you're going to be building up characters that you need. And then they're going to, once again, bring you back the, the, the power cores that you're actually spent. So it's a give and take, right? Um, at the end of the day, uh, it's going to net really, really close uh, to break even and it, it creates a sustainable kind of system now where we can unlock characters from the get go. And at the same time, keep on building the reserves, keep on differentiating yourselves from the competitors. But yeah, just my two cents. Um, if you guys are wondering if you should still be coring for, you know, events and hoarding, hoarding um, campaign energy and so forth. Yeah, I'm, I'm still doing that because I can afford it. But at the end of the day, if I had to choose one or the other, always, always, always choose the arena character before the events because at the end of the day um the any advantage you have in these characters uh, compared to your your enemies compared to the competition is going to set you apart and it, that's going to translate to success which obviously snowballs and compounds as i said earlier now i'm just comfortably sitting in the top 10 not even getting attacked and i'm just raking in the power cores ladies and gentlemen it's absolutely unbelievable so takeaway here make sure you guys are using power cores make sure you're saving them for new characters and unlocks but honestly just my two cents it's based on what i've experienced anyways in the past couple of months when i saved the power cores for black panther shuri hank pym heck even alpha flight when they first got released i was starting to use my power cores for them even black knight when he first came out i was starting to experiment and dabble with it but now um with this huge arena rework in the power cores this may very well be probably one of the one of the best strategies in game for free to play to take advantage of the power cores, use them to get a novelty character that can absolutely change the meta, which in this case is the Annihilators. But anyways, my two cents, my hot take. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you're doing this as well. Thank you for your time as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.